Hi learners, welcome to my channel Data Science University with MLU Prasad. The agenda for today's video is Project 2, Pandas Lead Code, Question Type Easy, Question Number 610. The question name is Triangle Judgment. The GitHub link for the solution is provided in the description below. You can join my Telegram and LinkedIn page community for further updates and discussions. Scan here to join the communities. The links are also provided in the video description. Now let's solve together the problem. Okay. They have given a triangle table which has three columns X, Y and Z. Okay. We can see this some dimensions of X and Y and Z they have given. Now what is the question? Report for every three line segments whether they can form a triangle. Okay. Very simpler question. Let me copy it. Let me paste it. Okay. What is a triangle? Okay. A triangle is a thing which has three sides joined together. Okay. Let us assume this is X or let us assume Y, Z and X. Let us assume this is X. Okay. This is Y, Z. Okay. Now let us assume. Let us slowly, slowly shrink it. Okay. Now let me shrink it. Imagine slowly. It is there like this. Y plus Z. This is also triangle. Y Z. This is also triangle. Y Z. This is also triangle. What is the minimum triangle it is possible? Okay. Let us assume something like this, okay? Very, very small. Something Y. Something this point Z. This is the minimum triangle. Let's assume. Imagine this gap is not there. Two lines are joined like this. There is no gap. Hypothetically, this is Y, Z, X. Okay? So, can I say the above line is equal to below line? So, can I say when y plus z is equal to x, it is not a triangle. It, the y plus z should be at least a small thing greater than this one. Then a triangle will form. Am I right? So, to form a triangle, the sum of two sides should be greater than the third side. So, x plus y should be greater than z. y plus z should be greater than x. z plus x should be greater than y okay now let's check this condition for the first one okay 13 plus 15 greater than 30 no false 15 plus 30 greater than 13 true 30 plus 13 greater than 15 true but only two out of three are being passed. We want three out of three things to be submitted. Let us check for the second thing. Okay. 10 plus 20 greater than 15. Yes, it's true. 20 plus 15 greater than 10. It's true. 15 plus 10 greater than 20. It's true. That is why the second condition is a yes, the first condition is a no. Okay, now let's code it up. So, what I will do is let us create some new column. Okay, triangle. Okay, let's say some MLV only. I will call it. Okay, how I am creating, I will say I will apply a logic to this table. Okay, apply is the keyword which you want to apply to the entire table if you want to use If you want to apply any function, you can use apply here. Now, let us say this is a triangle and I want to apply a logic. What is the logic? The condition which you checked here. This condition, if it is correct, call it as yes. If not, call it as no. That is the logic I want to do. So, I will say dot apply for that you need to give the keyword lambda. Means I am applying a function. Okay. Let us assume there is some input t. t is just a reference element. So, I am applying 
some logic to triangle using lambda where t is just an input called triangle so i am taking input triangle as t and let me apply some logic on top of t okay what is that logic let us define it logic t i will say t is a t is the triangle right which is the alias which you are using as input so logic of t is the output so output logic i am writing it such that if triangle is a table x is the column as i am using alias t can i write x column as t dot x because or i can write something like this am i right so can i say so to speed up the process i'm just writing t dot x both are beyond so can i write t dot x comma t dot y should be greater than t dot z okay let me close it down okay let me copy it copy it as the three things should be satisfied let me keep a and between them okay now let me copy it here paste it here now okay let me remove the plus this should be plus this should be greater now what should be there x y z y z x z x y should be there z z x y that's it yeah these three conditions here also should be ampersand so i'm saying if these three conditions are being satisfied return the output as yes if not return the output as no okay now let me return the triangle let me see series object has no column x so what is happening i am applying this logic but by default what it will do it will apply everything column wise but i don't want to check column wise everything i need to check row wise right i don't want to check 13 and 10 i should take 13 plus 15 greater than 30 so on so on so let me say it as please check it row wise so axis is equal to 1 see it is no yes but instead of calling the column MLB, they want to call it as triangle. So let me change the table name. Sorry, column name. Still issue. Okay, spelling mistake. That's it. Our sample test case has been successfully passed. Now let me submit for all the test cases. yes our code solution has successfully passed all the test cases we have solved the problem guys now if you want the code solution for this it will be available in this github repository the link will be provided in the description below if you're further interested in learning data science data analytics machine learning nlp computer vision and generative AI stuff please fill in this google form below my team will be reaching out to you and for further updates follow my official linkedin page provided below in the description for further questions or doubts use this hashtag ask Emily Prasad in the comment sections any comment which says this hashtag i'll be answering your doubts okay until then keep learning guys